Welcome back to yeah. another episode of the Banter Podcast. I'm Tim. And I'm Kevin. Uh, glad to have you guys back with us on another issue. Issue. Been reading too much comics lately. <laughs> another episode of the Banter Podcast. It's our Wednesday night podcast, or as some of you might know it as a Thursday morning audio cast. Um, for those of you who listen on iTunes, Podomatic, now SoundCloud, How yep. Now SoundCloud, and How then. Now um, um, but yeah, yeah, we're back with you. I'm Tim, and I'm joined as always uh, by my lovely co-host Kevin Bradley. He was broadcasting from what looks to be like his bedroom floor tonight, not his computer desk. Yeah, I'm starting a web diary, and so I figured I would just do this the same place I do my 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 vlog, if you will. Yeah, I think Live Journal supports video now, doesn't it? <laughs> Is that? Uh, I've been hearing live journal supports video. No, no, it doesn't. This is a result of my shitty day continuing to get shittier, but we can talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's table that for another time, but, or at least uh, another time during this podcast. Yeah, so, yeah, um, so, so we're back. Uh, Banter Podcast, find us. Find us both on Twitter. Where can they find you at, Tim? They can find me, as always, at Tim Herb. For those of you that, that – oh, I mirrored my image. There we go. Um, for those of you who are watching, that's my handle down there. For those of you listening on the audio cast, it is at Tim Herb, T-I-M-H-E-R-B, one word. And where can they find you, Mr. Architect? You can find me at the underscore A-R-C-1 T-E-C-T. Um, this is the Banter Podcast. We're back again. We talk about a little bit of everything that we both do on a daily basis. And today We talk... We talk about everything a little bit and a little bit of everything, right? A little bit. I, I think you'd be hard-pressed to listen to the show and not hear something that might interest you. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hopefully you turn in during that time, or at least bear with us until we get to the moment when we're talking about the stuff that you want to talk about. But we do have a uh, pretty good show tonight. Um, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? I, I actually, speaking of that... Uh, something we, we may want to do, and this is all, like I said, th- I've never even talked to Tim about this before. This is how live we are, everybody. Um, but I thought we could maybe just do a quick, we do our show notes ahead of time, so so people can get, you know, a little bit of an idea about what we're going to talk about. Maybe we can just run through a couple of those topics really quick. Um, do you want to you wanna lead it, or you want to go back and forth, or? Go for it. All right, so so for, on tonight's show, we've got a little bit lined up, like we always do, giving a, a, a little bit of a discussion about how our day went, and then we're going to talk a little bit about music. Uh, one of our favorite bands has got a new single out and a new CD coming out in about a month. Uh, and then we are going to get to gaming, as we always do. Um, uh, a lot of gaming news came out today. One, one main thing in particular dealing with uh, the Ooh. next generation Xbox. So I like the way you're teasing for it. that. I exactly, like exactly. I think I, I like this. I like this. And then, so we're turning it into a full blown radio show, is what it is. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they need to know. I mean, it's we, we got to let them know. I mean, because we <laughs> might talk about something one one day that they're like, oh shit, they do this every episode, and then the next day we not talk about it at oh. all. Because... <laughs> it's like, this is not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. So, so then after games, we're going to talk about movies, uh, talk about comic book movies, one in particular. Big trailer came out this week, so we're a little excited about that. And then we're going to do Go Go Gadget Rundown. It's been a little while since we've done that one for anybody that likes to hear us talk a little bit about tech. Tim found oh, something yeah. and uh, also posted that something up on Tumblr, so that's another place you can find us, banterpodcast.tumblr.com. So, I guess that was the, kind of the original. That was the original for us uh, yeah. uh, outside of Podomatic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've had a Tumblr account for a while, and then we, we merged our efforts into the podcast and made a Tumblr account for us as a collaborative, and... Uh, we're on episode 24 now, so it's good to be here, and thanks for checking us out. Um, we're still learning all along the way. so. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, that's one of the great things is, is you guys are doing this with us, right? You're getting to, yeah. you're getting to <laughs> see the learning process <laughs> as opposed yeah, yeah. to just hearing about it. And then it's even more awkward that they can see, like, this monster zit I've had on my head that I've been talking about. Luckily, your that. camera's a little blurry tonight, so... Uh, you can see it. Look at that. Look at that got, Mount yeah. Everest thing right there. I'm not afraid to, uh, to oh, call it, it out, call myself out, because it's been... Uh, oh, God, it's been a battle with that monster. And for those of you guys who have been watching, you know, you guys have seen us before, 
you know, I, I like to stay. I don't know. I, cl- I I shave a little bit, but Kevin Kevin always has a magnificent beard. <laughs> always has like a beautiful beard, and this is my attempt. Oh, like, dude! I wish I could find the uh, photo album. I wish it was right beside me. I'm gonna take a look while I'm talking. You talking uh, about that progression you made in college? What was it? Your f- fifth year? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was going into my senior year of undergrad. I can't find the picture. I'll find it. Oh, there you go. That'll be a good teaser. I'm going to find this picture. Some of you saw it in person, but I'm going to find it, and I'll be sure to post it up on uh, Twitter and Tumblr and stuff like that. So and uh, so go check us out there, and I'll post it there. But I did grow my beard out for a solid, I don't know, I guess it was like four months. And this thing is like kudzu on my face. Like once it starts, it just doesn't stop until it's taken over everything. So – yeah, so, well, if uh, this cool kid uh, still had his Facebook account and wasn't too cool for the rest of us, you could see it. <laughs> I'd be able to share the screen with you. And uh, this is true. This is true. And it's just, uh, I don't know, Kevin. It's awkward oh. because it, it was it's because I had a Facebook and there was people that I was forced to communicate with because they would send me a friend invite or something and I'd be forced to respond to it. And now that we have the show. Uh, I'm I'm desperately pleading with someone to go look at, listen to the show or uh, let us know what they thought. So yeah, yeah, it's true. It's it's now that you don't need it, or now that you don't want it, or don't have it, you need it, right? Yeah, but I can still deal without all the bullshit on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, but we do have. Just, a, that's I mean, why we just have, hide everybody. Yeah, yeah. We have a Facebook for the show. Also, go check. We it do. Out. <laughs> um, I don't have Facebook, but go check out our Facebook for the show. I do post on there every now and then. So if you're hearing this, might as well. If you want to get in touch with me, you can get in touch with me through that. I want to try something tonight. What's that? Every person who shares or retweets. Um. Oh, you rubbed yourself into a damn corner now, Tim. <laughs> What no, are you going to do? What are you going to gonna... do? Because you're going to force us into a pickle where like, we have to spend Free money. Free cars! <laughs> no, no, no. I was just, just going to say, for anybody who wants to share the link or to retweet it to everybody, all their followers, so we'll give you guys a shout-out on the show. And, so... no, or I can work them into a special piece of artwork where I Photoshop Ooh. their face onto – or our face onto their like body. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> like shitty watercolor guy on Reddit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The shitty watercolor podcast. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, speaking of photoshopping, there was um, I guess I've I've donned a new nickname from, uh, I guess friends dinner. What from, is that? No, from you. You called me. Uh, oh, dude, what was it? I the forgot. amazing grazer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you were saying. Uh, well, no, what was? It was something. It, it was a long name. It was like no. Yeah. It's the amazing grazing herb, is what the it is. The amazing grazing herb. That's it. <laughs> because every time are... Tim, every time Tim comes over to my house is, uh, and whenever I go over to his house too. To be fair, although I think if you were to compare the two, our house definitely has more snack foods typically because I I graze more than any. I, I'll graze more than I actually eat at meals all day, uh, which I mean. Whatever, but uh, so every time Tim comes over, he uh, he grazes, which is natural. It's fine. But it's uh, earlier today I was talking uh, about what we had for dessert, and I said something about oh we've just got uh, Keith cookies or toffee cookies. Oh well, yeah, there, we we don't really have anything. He's like, why didn't you? Because I was talking about bringing dessert over tonight, and he's like, he's like, you don't really have to. He's like, if you want to, go ahead. So I was like, okay, maybe I won't for everybody's waistline. Because I normally get a marble kick and bring it over, and it's like the most amazing thing. It we just fantastic. go at it with two forks, but yeah, eat that whole damn thing. <laughs> yeah, no, Kevin was giving me shit about not bringing over dessert, and and Amber was his girlfriend was like, "Oh well, we have cookies," and Kevin's like, "Oh yeah, they're just they're just toffee cookies." Oh, there's nothing. You don't want to look at that. And then I get into the pantry to go grab one, and there are these massive things with like these pools, <laughs> these delicious just pools of toffee. <laughs> And it's just spread out. You got chocolate chips over here. You got this yeah. big mud puddle of toffee. Yeah, it's, uh, and it's soft and delicious. I was like, Kevin. It's like chocolate chip toffee crunch or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like, it like you undersold the shit out of this. He's like, yeah. He said, I had to. Otherwise, you would have been in there grazing the whole time. You would have yeah, been eating yeah. it. And uh, you're just like a cow, dude. You, but instead of, uh, instead of saying moo, you, herb. <laughs> herb. <laughs> So Kevin was talking about – so the moral of the story is Kevin was going to – 
face on a cow eating cud. Yep. Grazing. And so uh, we came up with the great nickname for Tim. The, the Amazing, amazing Grazing Herb. herb. <laughs> Oh, God, it's fantastic. Uh, but that would be a good segue. So what did you do? Uh, how was your day today? Did you have anything exciting happen since our last show? Uh, no, not really. Well, I mean, I sold something at work, but that's for another time. That's not really... I don't know if I can discuss that, actually. Ooh. Confidentiality. Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Everything's been pretty status quo. I'm guessing you have a big story to tell. Yeah, I do. Uh, you today, wind, it, wind today it up was, for me. Today was really. I mean, why am I sitting here? First of all, it, it kind of leads into how shitty today was <laughs> overall. Um, so my day started out, and it started out fine, you know. Except for this morning, I did the dance that I don't normally do, where I don't really have the uh, the money to make me feel comfortable going and buying coffee, but I didn't have the time to make myself coffee at home. So I got in my car and I was like, well, fuck it. I'll just go buy coffee. Um, cause my, I left my thermos in the car anyway. So, so I got in the car and I went to pull out and I was like, no, nah, fuck it. I can't, I can't afford to, I, I don't want to spend the $4 on coffee. So I pulled back around my apartment complex, came back home and then still decided to go get coffee. So now I've wasted even more time <laughs> getting to work. <laughs> And so then I finally get coffee and I get to work. It, it, the first part of the day is fine. Um, uh, it's just work, you know, no big deal. And then uh, we ended up, Dan and I, this is a separate topic that I want to talk about. I, I'm going to sidetrack a little bit. But do you ever, um, you ever really conscious about what you say and do outside of work just in case somebody that works with yeah. you sees it? Um, that, that's something that I was thinking about. And I was like, well, aside from Dan, I don't think anyone – at my office knows how to use the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately uh, enough for you, because you work uh, at an architecture firm that's been around for ages with old people, and <laughs> I work I work at a technology company. No, I do I do enjoy my job, um, but it was one of those it was just one of those work days. Everybody has them that um, it's just the whole day is just a grind and you start thinking about like, gosh, I work here, blah, 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 blah. And so I had that shit going on. And then the icing on the cake is we had a big deadline coming up. So we ended up being at the office until like almost seven thirty. and you were coming over tonight. And so, uh, so to I got graze. home. Yeah. Yeah. To graze and graze dinner. anatomy. And so, and so I was just in a rush and after working late and I finally got home and, it was just, and then from there, it was like I, I talked to Amber. I was like, Amber, will you please just start dinner because Tim's coming over tonight. And so it's one of those things. Like I had a shitty day, so I was expect like hoping to come home and Amber would have food on. And she, I guess she went and ran errands after work, so she was just starting dinner whenever I got <laughs> home. It was like, fuck, it's Tim's your, gonna be over here any minute. And so it's all your fault, Amber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so and so then I was just like, all right, fuck it, sorry. I poured a drink and went outside, and then you came over. And you coming over, honestly, was the highlight of my day. Oh, well, um, thank you, sir. But, oh, but to make matters worse at work, I forgot my initial story. We have a lunch and learn at work. Every every couple Wednesdays, uh, one of our suppliers will come in and talk about a product that they're working on and uh, give a presentation on it. And uh, So today we had one. It was on vapor barriers. Um, Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Woo, Big architectural stuff. Yeah, uh, I could have used those the other day whenever it was April 20th. <laughs> so we're talking about this and the guys at the <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, mm. so we're talking about vapor barriers, and he brings these samples, and they're all over this big conference table that we're all sitting around. And I lean over to grab a sample, and I've also been cutting back soda which people know, so I've been irritable even more so. I sound like a whiny girl as I'm telling the story. Kind of do. Um, but anyway, I go to reach over to grab one of the samples, and my big-ass cup of water spills out in the middle of the conference room table, and there's my boss and, like, five other guys that work at the office, and this guy's talking, and I get water all over the samples and everything. <laughs> and so I'm like, fuck. So I had to run and get paper towels, and as I'm running out, the, I hear the guy say something at the uh, that's given the presentation. I said, well, I guess it's a good thing your uh, your samples are vapor barriers, right? But <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hold on, hold on. I got that sound effect somewhere. <laughs> I got it somewhere, Kevin. Oh, so, so I mean, it was just one of those days. And then also... <laughs> and I changed the light in uh, my bedroom, and the reason why I'm sitting here is because the light's all blue in the ceiling fan at one time when I turned on the light switch. And so I thought that was weird to begin with, but then I went and bought new light bulbs, put them in, and it's not working at all. And so now I'm stuck sitting on the floor beside the bed. Oh, and I had to talk to my papa for an hour. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's like every t- every chance I thought I was going to have to just sit down and relax is constantly oh, kept God. getting fucked up. <laughs> it's like, well, that's one person I know you never have to worry about using. Oh, and then I had to hear Neil talk about how he took a three-hour nap. And I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, parenting is so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. Send your kids off to school and go to sleep. <laughs> freelance parenting. Does he freelance uh, parenting too? Or yeah, does... yeah, probably. Um, he said something about he gets a, he gets an hour of sleep per kid you have or something like that. I said, well, what you've got three, and what, I'm pretty sure once you get over two, it's, it's considered a litter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so maybe man. you could start. You know, you could start a business. Yeah, your kids yeah. are employees at that point, cleaning your house. Yeah, I mean, you really you've got a solid lawn service there. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's very true. Okay, so I guess we'll talk about the show a little bit. <laughs> Get back on track. <laughs> um. So, so music. So um, that was your lunch and learn experience. Yeah, yeah. So my day was just shitty overall. <laughs> yeah, so music. Go for uh, it. No, you you announced it. I just told a, one of the, <laughs> I just told a story. And as I was telling it, I was like, why the fuck am I saying half of this shit? <laughs> like, telling Tim stories. That's I'm, like, what it is. I'm just over here thinking, I'm like, I'm becoming Tim. This show is making us too much alike. You say that, but... <laughs> Whatever, man. Uh, <laughs> Neil was telling Tim stories. He liked it. I yeah. liked his. I liked his Tim story about the pig, about hashtag dead pig. But don't take my word for it. Do do do. <laughs> so yeah. So music. Am I right? Am I right? You, you talk about right? it. So so what happened today? Sleeping with sirens. Uh yeah. So one of our favorite bands, uh, um, Sleeping with Sirens. Just posted their newest single, or I guess I don't know, just a teaser to their new album, the song uh, "Low," from their new album "Feel" that comes out on June fourth. I see. Um, yes. It's pretty exciting. It's way off though. I don't know why you release a song a month and a half. What are, are they flow writer now? Well, uh, they probably know it's gonna leak in the next two weeks, so they're just at least getting yeah, through that. That's true. It's pretty because, shitty. Because it's yeah, I mean, as an artist, you uh, especially as a music artist, you kind of have to know that that your fan base all grew up in a generation that used I think that's why country music is still making money because <laughs> all the people that listen to country music are still buying CDs and buying yeah. music. That's and why every, <laughs> and every other music genre is pirating it. Yeah, that's why Kid Rock uh his fur his newest album is his first one that wasn't strictly CD and vinyl. That's his first digital album. Ugh. That's crazy, and he's still super, super rich. Yeah. Still does it big. But yeah, I have a lot of respect for Kid Rock. <laughs> I don't like his music at all, but I, damn if I don't have a lot of respect. He's a businessman. He's yeah, d- no kidding. He started off with the, like a high-top fade doing DJ parties in Detroit. Now yeah. he's singing muddled covers of Sweet Home Alabama. Kind of makes me worried about what where we're gonna be. Like we're starting out doing pretty decent things in the eyes of most pity, most people, and then we're just gonna end up a big fat kid rock, both of us, on the <laughs> on the back porch with an above ground pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. Is I want to be the fat old man swimming with my t shirt in my above ground pool. <laughs> Uh, I just got a text from my girlfriend saying to shave my face so she doesn't like my attempt to mimic Kevin. <laughs> and I noticed that you even trimmed your neck beard. Yeah. So that's, it made that's it stand it. out. It made it stand out a little bit more, but it's so thin that it just looked like one of those thin, those pencil mustaches 
but along your jawline. <laughs> Do you want to carry the show here for like five minutes? I'll go and shave. So you guys could you could tell, stop talking shit, and I could stop disappointing. It's so thin, you could probably just rub it a little bit, and it'd be gone. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I sacrificed the best part of my my facial hair is my neck beard, and it grows so thick, Dude, but I look like a damn bum. We need to find pictures uh, and track our, our progression towards our being Kid Rock because, <laughs> <laughs> because I've got some pictures of me that I'm not too proud of, and I know you've got some pictures of you you're not too proud of. We need to get those and find something funny to do with those. That's true. It's pretty awesome. So me, like... With no, your I, hair yeah. like down to here and all of maybe five hairs on your face. Yeah. And <laughs> looking at my dad, I don't think I'll ever be able to grow like a full beard. Looking at my dad, I'm pretty sure I know how I'm able to. <laughs> <laughs> what does he get a five o'clock shadow every day? Pretty much. See, that's the thing, man. There were people in high school. I remember uh I don't remember. You remember Josh Gaddings? He used to get like a fucking like. There are people like that that got like five o'clock shadows in high school and never grew grew their beard out. And I always remember yeah. being like, <laughs> "I want that." And there was and, a few of us that embraced it, and then a few others. You couldn't that grow just, a beard back then. Don't even. My senior year, I did. My senior year, I had a full goatee. Look at my, my senior picture. Did you work at GameStop that year? Yep. You did. You you, you no, sold I me did. a few games. <laughs> How many games did you get me to pre-order really that weird. year? Like, I could grow facial hair here in all the douchiest places. It was like... <laughs> but my complexion was so bad, I couldn't go clean-shaven. It was like, these were my options. Pizza face, stalker goatee, or neck beard. That's, that's what I had to work with. Yeah. So I went goatee. It was the lesser of the three evils. Yeah, I'd say so. I don't know. I don't know. A nasty neck beard could be pretty sweet sometimes. <laughs> It could be pretty sweet. No, um, douchey facial hair. <laughs> it's true, though. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, you couldn't grow anything on your cheeks for a long time, could you? No, it, was, it wasn't until probably my probably my freshman year of undergrad. My freshman or – no, I guess it was my sophomore year of undergrad that I started growing it out because uh, that's right when I met Bryce, and it was right then, that, uh, right around then that I was growing it out. First. Yeah, I always used to just grow my, my chops out. That's just when I got. I can track how lazy I got at that point too, because it's <laughs> like, uh, uh, I'm not shaving at all, and now I can go weeks without it. Um, yeah. And and not have to worry about it because the change in about a quarter of an inch of beard once you already have one, it's fine. Like until once it gets past that though, that's whenever people start noticing. Yeah. It. Like, What's hey, that like to have a quarter inch of a beard? <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a third cock. <laughs> Damn, champ! How many cocks you got? No, but I think the, the moral of the story was we were talking about sleeping with sirens. Holy <laughs> shit! How did we get on? <laughs> thanks, my girlfriend. Oh, Clarissa, oh, cool. Clarissa thanks, texted Clarissa. me. Yeah, she told me to shave my face, and that's it was banter. That's exactly what we do. That's what yep. we are. What we this do. Our best episode yet. Woo! <laughs> thanks, baby. Um, it was off the rails. <laughs> it is officially derailed. <laughs> it is off the rails. <laughs> that started a long know. time ago. Uh, that started at dinner once I had already had a couple drinks. Yeah, I, and... I come in, I get into Kevin's house before he even gets in there, and he walks in behind me with a scotch and water. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks up behind me, he's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I look back and say, are you drinking already? <laughs> Oh, already? It was 8 o'clock at that point. I was just getting home from work. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. This commute has just completely discombobulated my brain. Oh, man. No, but, so yeah, Sleeping With Sirens released that new uh, that new single. What would you think of it? I liked it a lot. It's classic Sleeping With Sirens. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. It's the same thing I like about Pierce the Veil. It's... They've got a formula. It works for them. Stick with it. Deviate from it slightly. <laughs> Give me a chance to like it, and then if you want to go full throttle, go with it. But don't just give just... me enough to change it up. Yeah, just change yeah. it up a little bit so it doesn't sound the exact same, and then I'll which, be good. Which I mean, speaking of that, uh, one speaking of Pierce the Veil and switching it up, Bulls in the Bronx, one of my favorite songs on their new CD. Yeah. Uh, in, in which at the end of it, they really switch up 
how they sound as a tone uh, as a band and yeah. uh they played this what would you describe that as it's it's like a southwestern sort of guitar yeah, it's uh, almost ma- mariachi it's, guitar. Yeah, it's almost mariachi sounding uh, tone to it. But we found out today that that song has a little bit of a deeper meaning behind it. Yeah, I guess this Pierce the fan in uh, Australia had committed suicide while they were recording Collide with the Sky. And then her friend took, I don't know if she, I think she might have just emailed, him, emailed Vic Fuentes. And uh, I guess he said that it affected them so much that because she was such a big fan and she committed suicide and he was looking at all these pictures of her, I guess it was from bullying, I guess hence bulls in the Bronx. And, um, it's just crazy. Like she was 16, got bullied a bunch. And he was saying, he's like, it's so crazy to see this beautiful girl getting, you know, getting bullied to death and, you know, and she ended up taking her own life. And I guess, and I guess I saw the one of the videos they did an interview. I guess I don't know if they're part of or they sponsor. Uh, and you posted that up on the Tumblr, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you guys go to banterpodcast.tumblr.com, it's actually from December, and I didn't. I I, I don't know how it passed uh, passed by, but yeah. Uh, check that out. Found that today. Whenever I was, I don't even remember what I was looking for. But I think that's awesome, man. Whenever you hear a musician doing something like that and anybody in a sort of state of fame, you know, Reese Witherspoon just had that big thing happen this past week whenever she, her, I guess her husband was arrested for DUI and she got out of the car and, don't you know who I am? Like, it's, yeah. it's an attitude like that and uh, it creates such a Guy disconnect. Fiatty. Yeah, and, and you just, it's like you don't have to be an asshole to be Famous for assholes, right? Yeah, famous <laughs> and so, for FIFA. And so whenever you see people that actually act like people and are good people, it's uh, it's nice to see that, especially from a from a place of being a fan of somebody that's actually doing yeah, something Yeah, absolutely, because that's the whole thing. Whenever we listen to music, whenever we watch movies, like we want to – like we all hope that those people are – you know, they have that human element to them, that, that human element that we see and um, – in this case, it was so much like it hit them so much so that they wrote a song. In my opinion, the best song on their album. Yeah, yeah. And one of their best songs that they've ever done um, is about that fan, and it's just it's unbelievable. But I think like, we have I think we listen to a lot of bands that are like that. I mean, MC or MC Lars, like. Yeah, not MC Chris. <laughs> no, not MC. Chris. <laughs> but MC Lars is like one of the most personable musicians that I've ever met. Um, and talked to, and he wrote a song about his roommate in college called 23, um, and I guess his roommate in college ended up committing suicide. And to see people actually experience something like that, be able to relate to something like that, put it into their work, and still you know, be decent human beings is always nice. And Darkest Hour is another big one. Yeah, definitely. That's one of the main reasons they're my favorite band, is that my brother... For those of you who don't know, and if I mean, if you're watching, you probably know me pretty well. Um, and if not, welcome. <laughs> but yeah, my brother. Family here on banter. Yeah, exactly. My brother passed away in uh, 2003 from cancer, and um, about I guess like two months before he lost his battle, um, one of our good friends, Stephen Cody, uh, reached out to Darkest Hour, Andy's favorite band. Uh, he actually got me into them. <laughs> And asked them if they would, you know, stop by the hospital room. And they went out of their way from, they were going on tour, they were going to stop in Augusta. And they detoured to go to Sumter, South Carolina, which is, you know, east, yeah. like three hours from Augusta. And stopped at the hospital and hung out with Andy. And, I mean, it's just one of those things, man. Those guys are amazing people. And the fact that they came and, like, they deviated from their tour, their set schedule to come and hang out with uh, hang out with my brother whenever he was battling that it was just unbelievable. And every time that we see them in South Carolina, they always dedicate a song to him or something like that. It's like it's never forgotten. And last time I saw them, I actually framed a picture of them in the hospital with Andy, and I guess it's hanging up in their practice space or their jam space. Nice. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. It, like I said, the human element, it just makes you that much more of a fan of the band. Yeah, especially, and it doesn't take much either. That's another thing that I've noticed, just like the smallest interaction, and I feel like those are what makes some of the most successful people, and sometimes along the way they kind of lose sight of that in some aspects, I think. But um, another another one, I mean, just recently uh, I reached out to a band that I've been listening to for a couple of years, uh, Bear Cub, which I told you about, and um, I guess they started 
in uh, Pittsburgh or Pennsylvania, one of the two. Um, and, and now they're they're now they're based out of Nashville, uh, a more folksy band. And I reached out to him on Twitter and just told him, you know, I really like your music. Wish there was more of it, you know. And, and they yeah. messaged me back and talked to me, and it was one of those things where I was like, whoa. Wasn't even expecting an interaction there. So just to have something as small as that, it's like, oh, I want to tell people that you know I want to spread the word at this point because it's like, oh, Tim, have you heard of Bear Cub? Like they just fucking hit me back up. And yeah. I don't know if I told you how awesome their music is, but you should definitely go check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so awesome. Yeah, if you are listening, definitely check out their music. It's uh, Bear Cub. You can find them on I think SoundCloud. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Band it's kind of hard because Ke- yeah. yeah, Kevin was like, "Oh yeah, you should you should listen to him." And then I was looking for him, I could not find him. Like, yeah, t- type in Bear Cub into YouTube. It's not like a lot of bands, <laughs> a lot of bands with generic names like that. Like, or not generic names, but like uh, names that could you know be assumed for something else. Usually, it'll still come up on the first page. Yeah, this is just nothing but like cute ass videos of yeah. Bear Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> or no, or those, um, those guys are awesome. Or uh, links to like gay websites about <laughs> about the hierarchy of bears. I I shit you not. Like I was trying to find bear cub music, and it's like it's like typing that in Google. Music for bears. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I shit you not. I shit you not. That's what it was. But no, I finally I went to their website, tried to buy their stuff off of iTunes because I liked what I heard on uh, on YouTube. Nothing's on iTunes. Come on, guys. Yeah, the hell? Yeah. I typed in Bear Cub. It was nothing but like gay lesbian podcasts. And <laughs> uh, no, but they are awesome, man. I mean, yeah, they're on SoundCloud. Yeah, they're on SoundCloud. They have like twenty-five on songs Camp. on there. Yeah. I think you can buy it off of Bandcamp. Oh, I think that's what I did. Um, I think it was off of there. Uh, so yeah, check them out. I'm gonna reach out to them, man. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and see if they want to come on the show. Talk about a damn good beard. Those dudes, especially, I guess, Jesse, their uh, vocalist, yeah. is, it's massive. <laughs> yeah, that's for damn sure. That thing is big as hell. Like, how long it took him to grow that, man? Like, that must have been... Some modest Yahoo. Type. Yeah. <laughs> oh, modest Yahoo. Whatever happened to that guy? <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, Bear Cub. Check it out, I guess. I mean, I've only listened to... You know, I put their SoundCloud on... Uh, continuous play today and listen to that, but yeah, yeah, it's good. Like you said, it's good, folks. He easy to listen to music, and they stream it all from their website directly too, or at least their their third CD is from oh. their, on their website. Um, and you I have can, to check just that continuous out. play, yeah. And I think you can order their CDs from their website directly too. Um, so yeah, definitely check them out. Hopefully, we can get them on the show. Hopefully, we uh, hopefully we spread the good word enough for them to. Crisis. Yeah. <laughs> so you teased something at the beginning of the show, and I really did like. I love the way that you teased everything at the beginning of the show. Good, uh, good, 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 good. We'll, we'll, uh, maybe we'll switch it up episode to episode, and so one week I'll lead in, and then the next week you'll lead in and do that. Yeah. I'm gonna start writing the juiciest teases. <laughs> so yeah, so today we had arguably the biggest thing in gaming news <laughs> since the PS4. And I'd say before the actual PS4 announcement, since they announced the PS4 announcement, because that was bigger than the actual announcement. Yeah. It's not, it's <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the uh, Xbox Infinity, or Xbox Infinite, as it's being called. On is that what most, it is called? I, it's, I, I've seen it on several things, and they've got good reasons to back it up. So much so that, like, I guess Xbox or Microsoft has registered the domain of uh, Microsoft 8 or uh, the Xbox 8, I guess, and uh, so Xbox Infinity. From a marketing standpoint, they don't have to worry about being um, Microsoft 3 or 720, or, like, they keep with that same idea of, like, having these obscure numbers, um, and it still puts them ahead of, say, the... Well, no, I mean, it, it, it like coincides. being behind the PS4, basically. It coincides because 360, you know, the circle is infinite, right? Like, yeah. In a, in a sense, I mean, it's the same thing. It's kind of just bringing everything together in an infinite loop, is what. I, and yeah. actually, hold on a second. I was going to do a screen share. I actually had not seen that. I just looked. Yeah, yeah. So, so well, Here's... while you're setting up the screen share, I'll let everybody know. I, I guess the big. Thing in news, uh, aside from the name, which I guess the name has been leaking around for a while now, uh, but they've said that on May 21st, 
at 1 p.m. Eastern time, they will be holding a press conference to uh, show off the new console. And there you have it. Do you see that, Kevin? Is that showing yep. up? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that is what is believed to be the leaked Xbox Infinity logo, and I don't know that I believe that. Yeah, yeah, I think it. Uh, I think it makes sense, though. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Yeah. So for those of you listening, I guess. Uh, the uh, it's just Xbox and has a little green Infinity sign next to it. It's. I mean, I guess it does make sense, but I guess we'll wait and see because Major Nelson made that announcement about. An announcement about an announcement, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, we're, uh, I guess we're still about a month away. Um, also, a uh, quick note, I just checked the live feed. We're just looking at your pretty face, man. Oh, crap. I did that. <laughs> Sorry, I did that to share my screen so you guys would see it. <laughs> yep, oops. I don't luckily, mind. Luckily, it was for like a minute this time. and not I, I think it probably looked better than uh, seeing our switch out. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah so the announcement is coming May 24th or May 21st at 1 p.m. I've got some really big issues with that. Why? Um on just one for those of you guys so Major Nelson he t- er, put a post on his website Larry Hib right or Herb or Herb. T- Herb. Larry Herb? Yeah. H Y R B. Um, not related. No. Completely unrelated. No. I wish I was related. Um <laughs> No, so he put a post up saying that they were going to make the announcement on the 21st from the Xbox campus, right? Yeah, yeah, in um, in Washington, I guess, or in Seattle. Yeah. So there, he was inviting people, and they're also going to stream it on Xbox.com, I think, and also on Spike TV. Uh, Spike TV. So, yeah, so issue number one has got to be the time issue. Um, whenever Why? you're Well, because... Well, for one, I thought that they would wait until E3 just because you've got more chances for people to see it. I understand why they did it before because they don't want to be having to compete up front against the PS4, you know? I think they would have won that battle heads up, but that's just personal preference. No Um, doubt. So, but, I mean, I understand them not wanting to take that risk. So, but that, that issue aside... Having it at 1 p.m. on a Tuesday really limits what people, I mean, how many people are going to be able to tune in and spread hype about it to begin with. Like, if you look at the hype that was built around the PS4 announcement because of the time that it was set at, everyone that really cared about it was watching it or seeing it being updated. So now it puts people that work in an office, which a good bit of their audience does. Um, I mean, and even kids are going to be in school or whatever. So it makes it that sort of thing where I'm going to have to either take a day off from work or take a long <laughs> lunch. Either way, I'm, I mean, I'm going to make it happen because I, mean, I can't wait. But, um, but it, I just have a, kind of an issue with that, and I think they missed out on an opportunity just from, just from a scheduling standpoint. I think they could have built a little bit more hype if they would have at least done it in the afternoon rather than... In the middle of the then day. again, I still feel like the PS4 announcement was like kind of weird. Like the timing, they did it at like eight at night or something, didn't they? It was, uh, no, it was... I think it started at six, but it ran until like nine because it was yeah, so that was damn too long. much. That was too yeah. much, especially too much for what they showed. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking. Like on so even from a viewer base, maybe that might have been an issue too, getting it streamed onto Spike, like getting it streamed onto a network channel in prime time, they probably would have had to fork out a ton of money. No, Kevin. Oh, this is Spike. Spike TV. <laughs> prime time is six hours of a thousand, WWE. Ways, to, a thousand ways to die and mancers. <laughs> How to know if your girlfriend's a narc. How to know if if the neighbor's a narc, <laughs> how do you know if your dealer's a narc? <laughs> what about your dog? Is he a narc? We'll find out on Mansers. And which boobs bounce the best in water? <laughs> on Mansers. <laughs> That's like all that show was. I, or is. I don't, is it, I don't know if it's still on. But yeah, so I think that they could have done a lot better, especially on a Tuesday night where they're not having to compete with any, at least none that I can think of, major shows that come on. Uh, during the week. I think if they would have done it at, say, 6 or 7 o'clock at night, Eastern Standard Time, or even 7 or 8, rather, 
um, in a primetime slot and built some hype about it over the next month, they'd have a lot more people watching it. Um, yeah, because you well, I, I do. I guess I do take issue with one p.m. time because even think about that for the, <laughs> the the West Coasters. That's that's still too early. It's that's too ten early o'clock. Early. Yeah. That's ten a.m. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. So it's just weird. So yeah, that's uh that's my issue. But I'll probably just end up taking a long lunch that day um, because. I, I'm going to want to watch it, and I'm not going to be able to watch it at the office. And if it is streaming on Spike, or I'm sure it'll be streaming over Xbox Live, and luckily I just live right down the road so I can zip home and yeah. watch it. And... I can't do that. I can't go drive 45 miles to my house <laughs> and watch it. <laughs> well, you guys it. have a TV at your office in Covington, though, right? Uh, in my boss, in, in two people's offices. Well, just just go in there and be like, yo, uh, I got to talk to you about something. Oh, did you not hear? the? Uh, they're live streaming the new Xbox announcement. That could be uh, really big for us. Oh, uh, I, I think they said it's on Spike Networks at 1 p.m. Eastern. I think that I think that's what they said. I th- yeah, I think so. I don't really know. But it, you want to turn it on? We can just see, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you got kids, right? Yeah. You probably want the new Xbox. Um, but yeah, so, but either way, I mean, well, at least it's coming out, at least we'll know more about it, and it's just a month away, so, yeah. I'm excited, it's, I'm really yeah, excited. I'm, I'm super excited too, because I've, I've been a Microsoft guy for, forever, and I'm doing this podcast from a Mac. Ugh, um, but it's okay, I'll counterbalance it with my Surface Pro this weekend. Yeah. Oh, so you're gonna get it. I am. I talked, I asked Amber earlier, and I think we're gonna go, I had to ask permission. No. <laughs> 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 oh no! I uh, I talked to Amber about it. I think I'm gonna go get it on uh, Saturday. So mm, nice, nice. No, the the only other issue I really have, but I guess I guess at a, at a point it uh, it's just me being selfish. But at a point it does make sense at a marketing standpoint. It's uh them wanting to do the announcement and then reveal a bunch of stuff at E3. But I guess they're doing more of the system and console stuff on the 21st, which I hope they actually show the console. Yeah. Like... Oh, oh, dude, you know that, like, with them coming in third or, like, doing their presentation last, they've had a chance to hear all the shit that every single announcement got for not yeah. showing consoles. And Larry Herb was even the one that gave Sony shit for not... Yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah, so if if he's on Twitter... Uh, saying, oh, uh, have a press conference about a new console without showing the console. That's one way to do it. And that was his exact words. If, if you're going to come on and say that and then not show the next-gen Xbox at your press conference, that's really, really shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure it'll be... Uh, I'm sure we'll get quite a few looks at it. And uh, hopefully, I mean, hopefully they'll follow suit with Sony and at least show us... Um, I wouldn't like to see... so. I want to see a good blend of everything. I don't want one thing to stand out too much. So, and if one thing stands out, I want it to be the games. That, but that's just personal preference. And not like, to connect. Yeah, I do want to see some of the things that they're doing to build it from a social standpoint, and some of the things that they're integrating into it from uh, Xbox Live Marketplace. You know, if they're getting new partnerships, I mean that. Netflix and the ESPN3, and those were really big ones that they announced at E3. Hopefully they'll announce one at their press conference, and we'll see a little bit of that. But I also want to see some games. So I want to see the console. I want to see a little bit of social stuff, but I want to see some fucking games. Yeah, so do I. But from what it sounds like, at least from what I was reading, uh, what I took away from it was that they're going to do a lot of the showcase um, or at least the big reveal is going to be on the 21st, and then they're going to, he's, what does he say? They're going to showcase their full lineup of blockbuster games at E3. So nice. we get a, that's the only thing is what I was talking about, the announcement for the announcement. It's the big reveal, and then E3, so you got to wait, what, another 19 days for. Yeah, so it seems but, that's, like an eternity. but that's good. That's good, though, because they're going to split it right in the middle. So from now until E3, we've got two little breaks to get through. So it'll be, uh, it'll be good. Yeah, um, that's true. And, and I, I, I think the biggest app that's coming out for it, and um, it will probably be at the forefront of their. Yeah, I think so too. You were talking about partnerships, and I don't think there's a bigger partnership than with the Yum, uh, the Yum brand. Yeah, Pizza Hut. That's what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. And this is kind of a kind of in between gaming and Fat Kid Cookbook. This is <laughs> this is the pinnacle, I think, because Netflix was amazing on Xbox. Is amazing. The Xbox 360 app or Xbox Three whatever is awesome. Yeah. I mean, um 
I haven't used the, the um, I, ha I haven't used the Microsoft Glass yet, and hopefully I'll use a little bit. I think of that. I feel like I I can download Smart Glass on my Android. I think it'll be. I think it'll look good, or at least run really well with the Surface. At least it's that's fucking true. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. So Smart Glass, these are all really cool innovations. Hulu Plus and. Um, you know, the XBLA and, you know, on-demand games. But what we're talking about right here is the ability to order pizza while you're playing a video game from Real your time. console. Yeah, that's awesome. Especially if it works with the Kinect and you can just put in, like, how cool would it be? This is really weird, but what if you're, like, what if you and I are playing? And I'm like, oh, hold on, bro, i got to call Xbox. Connect, call, or i got to call Pizza. Connect, call Pizza Hut. Connect calls Pizza Hut. Hello, this is Pizza Hut. How can I help you? Uh, yes, this is Kevin Bradley. Oh, can I have your address, please? Oh, is this Kevin Bradley at such and such address? I'm not telling you fucking freaks where I live at. But <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, but oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. So so we'll be there in 15 minutes. Okay, cool. Bye. Oh, what's up? Oh, dude, look out! Oh, watch out! It's just all <laughs> like real time playing, ordering pizza. I don't have to stop playing. I can just live in my fatness for the rest of my life. Now if I can just convince the delivery guy to feed me while I play, that'll complete. Yeah. Fat <laughs> Start calling me fatness Everdeen at that point. <laughs> oh, I need to do I need to do uh Photoshop, Photoshop. your face on the Katniss Everdeen <laughs> uh in Katniss fa or <laughs> fatness <laughs> Everdeen. No, but seriously this is amazing. I think what the way I put it earlier is this is the greatest app that has ever been made that nobody will ever need. <laughs> but it's one of the best marketing things that Pizza Hut can do. Because from their standpoint, it's like, well, what the fuck do we have to lose, really? Like, we'll have to spend some money to develop this app for it, but you know there are going to be millions and millions <laughs> of people they're going to be like, whoa, check this out. I can order a pizza on my Xbox. <laughs> and they're going to fucking do it. And I'm not even hungry going... right now. But <laughs> I'm going to order a pizza in my video game. It's going to happen. So I think it's uh, I think it's brilliant. And I know I'll at least uh, yeah. order one pizza. So thank yeah, you, Just pizza. for the novelty of it. Yeah. It's, like I said, yeah, probably the best app that nobody's ever needed in their life. But I need it. You feel me? <laughs> Um, so do you want to do a discussion topic? I know we have one for video games for tonight, but I don't know how we're looking on time, or do you want to move on to movies? We're looking. we got about 13 minutes left in time. So I guess we'll move on to movies, and we'll save our discussion topic for another uh, week. Yeah, I guess we do have a little bit left in the show. I, I yeah, thought yeah. we were tailing towards the end. but So uh, so for those who are interested, uh, be sure to check back, and maybe send us your suggestion. Oh, that'll be good. So uh, Tim and I were going to discuss if we could be any video game character, who would we most want to be so uh tweet us and uh tumble us and facebook us who you would want to be and uh and why and maybe maybe we'll have somebody on to tell us about it and why one of our favorites maybe not <laughs> maybe not depending on if we like you or not <laughs> um so, no, so yeah good 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 suggestion so another big thing that came out this week was uh a trailer for a movie that a lot of, I guess, it's the only movie, aside from Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, and I guess Ant-Man. I guess they have a couple movies that are in the works. Marvel has a couple movies that are in the works right now, and uh, Thor, The Dark World, is one of them. And not much has been seen, aside from a couple of uh, images on set and stuff like that, but their first trailer leaked, their teaser trailer leaked this week. Did you check it out? I actually did didn't what? what the fuck i'm sorry man i just i just have not seen it yet but you make it sound like i didn't like the first thor movie i didn't it, well, wait are you saying that's what i think or that's what you think no i didn't like the first thor movie so oh, yeah like, i didn't I wasn't, I wasn't rushing to it the way i was rushing to the a Iron lot of people love trailers. it man a lot of people love it i think i'm one of the few people or like one of the people that doesn't like some of the movies that the comic book fans really liked and then liked the ones that they didn't like. <laughs> you know? Well, nobody liked Captain America. So I, I liked Captain America. You didn't? I didn't watch it, to oh, be honest. I heard nothing but terrible 
despicable things about it, so <laughs> I kind of avoided. I do love Chris Evans, though. But so. I mean, I liked Avengers. I liked um, Captain America. I liked Iron Man two, um, and I liked a couple of the other ones that seemed to be a general consensus that people liked. But Thor, I wasn't a really big fan of the first one. Um, but the trailer for two, I I think I liked Thor a little bit more after seeing the Avengers. Um, the first one just. Whenever you start to get into a lot of the space stuff, I start to lose a little bit of interest. <laughs> um, it's just, I mean, that's how I am with comic books too, like Green Lantern and some of those other ones that take place in space and stuff. It just, and especially whenever it's, uh, what is it, Norse mythology yeah. with uh, Thor. Um, I can see some of the interest there, but it's just one of those things that it never really grabbed my attention, but I'm slowly coming around to it. And uh, but the trailer, I mean, that said, I'm starting to come around to it, and Thor two looks pretty sweet. I think. Um, I think it'll be all right. I'm just the character and what the character is just doesn't interest me much. Um, but one that does interest me, and that also came out. I guess this is a year old, which was brought up to me today by Neil. But the Ant Man teaser that came out last year. I guess it was more of a concept teaser trailer that leaked. I guess maybe they were doing a... Uh, I think that was at Comic-Con last year. Yeah. So, I guess the person that posted it on YouTube was like, quick, before it gets taken down, and it got taken down really quick. But they posted it. And count me in, man, because I fucking... I love Edgar Wright. Yeah. The Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, you know, whatever. The, the Blood and Ice Cream trilogy, and I can't wait for World's End. Or, um, yeah, the World's End pub. I'm yeah, pretty yeah. Sure. yeah, I actually have a picture of that. I took a picture of that place, and it's, on the, it's like a five-point intersection in, in Camden, London. But um, I watched the, the Ant-Man. Dude, I, I, was, I was so disappointed. Um, I, I don't know, just because I didn't know anything about Ant-Man, and you look at it, and it's, he was one of the original Avengers, wasn't he? Uh, yes. Yeah, so looking at the concepts for him, I didn't know much about him, so I wasn't huge, you know, I wasn't I guess, too excited. I think, it was, I think it was him and the Wasp or something like that. Um, yeah, so... But, that's one of those characters I don't know much about, so anything is going to excite me at least a little bit, to at least to read more into it. And they did a good way of doing that in the teaser to get me interested. Yeah, not to mention, oh yeah, in freaking, I can't believe I forgot Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, do you watching that trailer for Ant Man? That shit looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll post that up on the Tumblr as well if you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, look, I think I think it could be awesome. It's one of those things. I I like what I saw. I at least like the mechanics of what I saw. But as far as what's going to happen in the script and not mo knowing much about the character, I guess one good thing is I don't know anything about the character, so I can't really be let down in that as easily as I would be let down in, say, Spider-Man 3 or something like that, that I have some prior knowledge of the character. Um, but as long as they can make it at least a decent movie, I like what they've got going on as far as his abilities or whatever as a superhero. So, Tim? Tim? Am I in here by myself? Oh, hey everybody! It's just me, Kevin. Tim's not here, so I'm gonna keep going on with the show because he's not here, and this is really awkward for me. So, I guess that leaving off with uh, movies. Uh, be sure to check back. We'll post the Ant Man up on Tumblr, and um, hopefully, get a look at that. And then. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, you know, make sure to listen in next time. Find us everywhere, iTunes, on Podomatic, on Tumblr, on Twitter, everywhere, Facebook. And uh, sorry for the difficulties tonight. My internet just completely went out for a minute, and I had to go and unplug and plug my cable modem back in. But, um, but yeah, tune in next time. We're going to have a new episode again Sunday night, Monday morning for you audio listeners. And, and uh, you know, thanks for everything. Thanks for tuning in. And, uh, 